The simple password is Damia. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, why the cute bit torn shortcut here? You gotta be kidding me. While waiting for this... Why electronic with one impression? <laughs> oh boy. Hey guys, it's Ted Otaku here. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up my new server. So, in case you're wondering, that's not a server, it's a netbook. I know. So, so some people might heard of any other netbooks. Netbooks exist back in 2007, 2008, something like that. I'm pretty sure about that. Since the iPad was released, the netbook sales went down. Today, I'm gonna set up my new server, which is this netbook, so why? I think it's because this netbook uses less power. And as you can see, it's booting up Windows 7. If people think that it's Vista, no, it's not Vista, seriously. I think it's because Windows 7 boot up screen did not work on the screen resolution that's lower than 1024 by 768. I'm gonna type my password. The simple password is Damia. Yeah, you heard that quote there. <laughs> we'll log in and it's 12.02 a.m. What the f? Let's check the system properties here. So, as you can see, it's running Windows 7 Professional Service Pack once. This is a temporary install. And of course, I have two days until automatic activation. So, uh, screw it. This is a temporary install anyway. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a browser and open up Qubit Tor to download Windows Server 2008 R2 so and then what I'm gonna do is to start task manager I'm gonna go start and I'm gonna go on the control panel I hate the category thing okay small icons so screw it. screw that sh power options there is and choose what closing the lid does so <laughs> So I'm gonna download Windows Server 2008 R2 ISO that was sent by Jamie on Skype, aka Dr. Rest Piker. But first I'm gonna download Qubit Torrent. Qubit Torrent. What the f And Pale Moon does that sometimes. Stable Force Hub. Wait, what? Force Hub? No, I don't want that. Force Hub is already fed by hackers or something like that. Oh, we have UAC here. Ah. Please don't override MBR. Oh, there we go. Accept these terms. Next. Quit desktop shortcut. I need that. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I need to uncheck auto orange icons. Otherwise, it will randomly put my user folder on top. Wait, it's already completed. When I click the pause button, that's my clumsiness. Oh, why the cute bit torn shortcut here? You gotta be kidding me. Well, Sky for Web refused to show up. Sweet. This is really strange, and I have to download Chrome for now. Wait, what? Does it say for 64 bit Windows? We'll see about that. Chrome. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! What the f- Oh wow, well. so I'm gonna go ahead and download Firefox instead, so... Oh wait, update your Firefox for the latest in, in speed and privacy. That's a pale moon, it's based on Firefox, seriously. Oh, we have user account control, so I'm gonna let it, let it download, so I'm gonna uncheck make Firefox my default browser. So I already have pale moon because this is a lightweight browser and it's optimized for Intel Atom processor, so... Gonna let it install and we are golden. So the scrolling on my AVF fileless mouse is absolutely trash. Scroll. Scroll, come on. Scroll. The scrolling is absolutely dead. Look at this. When I try to scroll, it's total. Whoa, I don't wanna run it because it's a pretty portable setup here. I got Firefox installed and it's working! It's loading! I click the link and what the heck, when I first start up Skype for web and as you can see the 
CPU is already hogging, like really. Unless it's taken a while below, but oh my. What? What? Alright. It's gonna go wonderfully. Yup, there we go. Hit OK, and it should be downloading. So I'm gonna leave it running 24-7. Uh, so I'll be right back in the next day. Woo! Not again! I'm back and <laughs> it's time to install Windows Server 2008 R2. I think it's time to say goodbye to Windows 7 Professional. This. Let's go. I'm ready. 3, 2, 1, go. I'm gonna spam F9 for the boot menu. There we go. As you can see, it says CTE MMC Storage. I think it's because I have DG Internet broadband on here, so I might use that as as micro SD card reader. So <laughs> USB SCSI CD-ROM will not work, but booting straight into the MMC storage would be fine. It will boot straight onto the micro SD card. I have an eight gigabyte micro SD card. It's because I don't know where do I put my four gigabyte card. So let's go. I already have plugged in this netbook to the power before I'm doing this, so um, we're in. We're gonna hit next and install now. Yep, Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise. That's the edition I need. Next, custom. And I wanna say goodbye to my old friend, Windows 7. Ready? Here we go. I feel bad. Here we go. All right, now it's clean and Time for the installation. Boop! My plan to reinstall Windows Server 2008 R2 after I got a new SSD for this thing. I think it's because SSD lasts longer than the standard hard drive. I might get a budget SSD like the Kingston KC something or SSD now series. I wanted to get the new SSD on this thing as well as my laptop here which I'm currently have over here this is my beautiful dual screen setup here <laughs> I'm back <gasps> oh wait what no that's not Misha's video well anyway after two restarts now I finally setting up Windows Server 2008 R2 oh wait what the user's password must be changed before logging on the first time okay Okay, I'm gonna go try with this. There we go. Yep, there we go. We're in. We're in business, folks. Configure the server. Uh, uh, change time zone. Call for Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I live. Alright, product ID not activated. Na network adapters not non detected. I think it's because I have no wireless card installed. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm gonna add some features here. Why not? .NET Framework. Yes, we want that. Desktop Experience. I need that. Wireless LAN Service. I need that because it has a Wi Fi card in there. We're good. Dash into Web Service. No, I don't need that. Confirmation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Install. Hopefully it's going well. I'm back again and restart pending. That's all of them, so restart now. Alright. While waiting for this... <laughs> Why the high-pitched French Shitai? What the heck was that? Round two.
Come on. Come on. And for some reason, the arrow circle is freezing for an obvious reason. <laughs> That's funny. Come on. Or else I'm going to do magic. Here, check this out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that actually worked. Oh, we have 61% complete. 64 right now. And I apologize about the mess on the right side. And just because I'm currently working on, uh, I mean, cleaning up the case. Look at so much dust on the foliage reports. Yeah. That's not even necessary. We're almost done here. Oh, it looks like everything Apple Pro just uploaded to the new feed. What? Nokia 3310 finally has a competitor. That is awesome Apple Watch. Guys, what? I wanted to share a collection of awesome Apple news. When I went looking for my Apple Watch that I lost maybe three, four months before, uh, we went scuba diving, trying to find it. Unfortunately, all we found was a rusty Davy Jones skateboard. It's Apple News, basically, everything that's going on right now that I couldn't make individual videos about. I mean, Wait. Videos of Wait, I forgot that it's... Done. Da, 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 da. We are in business. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the part two. Peace.